FNF tutorial and stuff for stages and songs and potentially weeks. So to start off, right, I'm gonna try to speed through this stuff, but we got the background here, right? Went ahead and made this basic little thing, and then I exported it with export PNG sequence. So after that, we're gonna go into here, right? And we got the, first of all, we got this solid prop right here, prop being every single asset used in your background. So this is a solid square that's gonna make a white background. So the asset path, for example, being hashtag and then FFFF or whatever, is basically gonna set it to an all white square that's in the background behind everything. The reason it's behind everything is because of the Z index. And the lower the Z index is, the farther in back your props are going to be. So that's why this solid prop is going to be all the way in the background. It's going to create a fully white background for us to work with. Now the position is exactly what it sounds like. X moving everything left and right, Y moving everything up and down. The lower your X number, the more to the left it'll move. And obviously the opposite is for positive numbers. And the lower your Y number, the more further up it'll move. And of course, the opposite applies for higher values. Scale is going to be X uh, as your width and Y as your height. So how tall and how wide your thing is. And we have the background. To start off, we have it in new slash background because in the actual mod folder, I go into that. In the mod folder, it's in shared images new and background now when you're going and you're getting background assets it's gonna start in images it's gonna start in shared images already so going new slash BG means it's gonna go into the folder new and then slash background is going to check for background.png you want to make sure that this right here is the same as the name for this right here you don't want to add the dot PNG though and then we have the Z index for the players, their positioning, and then the camera offsets is gonna be where the camera focuses on each player's turn. So basically this is where the camera will focus on if it were GF's turn, this is where it would focus if it were dad's turn, if it were the dad's turn, and this is where it would focus on if it were the boyfriend's turn. And then that's basically all there is to know about making backgrounds. Other than that, I actually just copied this from here, so and I like mess with some values for fun. So if you wanna do that yourself, then you can. You know, because that's how most of the stuff we make is made. Other than that, you wanna change the stage in whatever song you want to your stage that you made. So you wanna make sure that the name here is the same as the JSON file here. So test that JSON and the stage is test. Now that we're done with that, we can move on to actually showcasing the test stage. And after that, I'll get out of the menu and I will show how exactly to import a custom song with the chart in. So to start off, I'm gonna go into Blammed Erect and you can see that now instead of the normal Philly stage, it's gonna be the custom one. So now that I've demonstrated that, I'm gonna exit into the menu what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of here into the new chart editor by pressing the uh, and to be completely honest um, that's actually probably going to be it unless I actually do end up showing off how to do weeks but I will probably just leave it at what I'm showing up now so we're going to go into drizzle right that's the instrument that's not the that's not the right file. But basically what you can do is you can now take the chart, save it. So what I'm gonna do is, since I already imported the song into the mod folder before that I did the tutorial, what I can do is I can go into songs, right? Drizzle. And then save it as drizzle.fnc, fnfc. Then after all of that annoying stuff, now it's really difficult, less difficult, I guess, but more complicated to actually import all this stuff in, but generally speaking, the process isn't too bad. So then you can change this to a zip, drag everything out of here, instrumental, mom, or whatever, whatever it says. Since we already have the volume files for the song posted here, right, we can do is we can do this stuff. 
So we got the manifest of JSON. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the metadata. And I'm basically going to throw it in here. Then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna copy some values from this just to make sure that everything works straight. So vocals. To be honest, I don't think I'm actually gonna mess with the vocals, but I guess I'll set them. Now it has nothing. <laughs> all right, so now that we've went ahead and taken care of all of this little extra annoying stuff, we're gonna pop our test background in there. And what this should let us do is add our stuff here. Last thing that we actually have to do in order to get our song into free play is just copy free play song list over and then go into data character list and then what you can do is you can edit it to add your song in there and hopefully everything should work this is actually the first time i'm testing this so if everything works correctly that would actually be a uh, miracle right there Just for good measure, let me go into a data file for the actual song, because I'm actually genuinely scared of what I have all this stuff as, so, let me see. Yeah, not gonna lie, I actually think that this is probably gonna work out fine. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna sound scared now, right? We got all of the metadata stuff working now, so... I'm essentially just gonna go all the way down, and it should have a song. And it didn't. Not that I am surprised. But, uh, I can tell that this is gonna be really annoying. So what I think I'll end up doing is I'll mod one of the weeks that we got here, and then I'll just add my song in it. This is like really unprofessional and kind of bad and really scuffed, so I apologize for that because I'm kind of not used to doing all this stuff, but I'm learning, I'm learning. So hopefully what I just did works, and real quick, let me check, I've been on here for like, this is actually just four minutes, it's going to be the same length as the last tutorial. That's crazy. So, uh, in story mode, we are going to do there now, the difficulty it works on is normal. Three, two, one, go! Look at that, it actually worked. Okay, well, that's all I'm going to play because technically speaking, this is a leak. So technically, I also kind of showed off a little bit of how to actually do weeks here, so I might as well finish off the job. So we got the songs. It's going to be every song in the week. The background speeding through this is literally just a hexadecimal code. Like, hexadecimal color generator. If I search that up right here, you can literally just go into a a HTML, like, right? You can literally just grab hexadecimal color codes. So if I then change this, for example, to here, just to demonstrate that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so then if I copy this and I put it right here, just to demonstrate that I know exactly what I'm talking about and that I'm not a freaking idiot. I have to go and edit this in because I ended up having to stop the original video to take care of some dumb stuff. So I'm doing it. So basically, I'm going to go to start mode. I'm gonna go into week one, and now, as you can see, it's now a red color instead of the one that it was before and stuff. So basically, that's about it. So that's 
I think that's about it, right? Let's see. So we got animations for each character. Yeah, so we got the props for the week, right? This is basically just every single character that's there. Offsets is going to be where they're placed, so like the position in the stages. Offsets basically does the same thing in the week, Jasons, and then the animations and stuff. It's the, fire, it's the animations, and then it's their names, and then it's... For this example, it's what frame each animation is going to be, and then for normal people for like BF it's just gonna be um for example idle and then confirm where it's literally just the name of the animation and then the animation in the XML file for prefix and basically kind of sim this is similar to everything I went over in the character video so other than that you know story menu titles in week one so that's basically gonna be like for example how we have image mods images story menu and then we have titles and we have every week name and whatever so that's essentially where or what you're going to be able to do with all that so that's essentially it um i don't have much more to say so uh funky beats